and welcome to this edition of Newsletter on 6. I'm Jim Fuller. In tonight's news, we'll learn more about Tullahoma Shepherd's House. The new superintendent of Tullahoma City Schools talks about his vision for the system. Two Tullahoma Lions Clubs are partnering to raise money to combat childhood diabetes. And we'll find out what's happening at the Tullahoma Recreation Department this month. We'll have these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Russell's got your truck, man. Russell's got your truck. Keith Barnett here at the Russell Barnett Automotive Family and we have sold so many new trucks we've got over a hundred pre-owned trucks to choose from. Any make, any size, any model. It's as easy as going to RussellBarnett.com to check out our pre-owned truck inventory. And remember, why buy your next truck anywhere else? With the best selection anywhere, Russell's got your truck, man. Don't stop believing, Tullahoma. Faithfully, Tullahoma Parks and Rec is excited to announce Journey Resurrection, a Journey tribute band that will perform free to the public Friday, September 21st from Fraser McEwen Park at 7 p.m. The wheel in the sky will keep on turning. So bring your chairs and blankets. Cold drinks and food will be on hand, and you can have it any way you want it. We'll see you there, rain or shine. Resurrection, a Journey tribute band in Tullahoma. Presented by Michelob Ultra, Light 2, and 93.9 The Duck. Visit TullahomaTN.gov for more info. When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. Welcome back. A Franklin County Sheriff's Office correctional officer was transported to Vanderbilt Medical Center Monday evening for injuries sustained during, during an altercation with an inmate. An investigation conducted by the Sheriff's Office revealed that on Monday, September the 3rd at approximately 7.15, Corrections Officer Jonathan Baker was involved in a physical altercation with an inmate that resulted in Officer Baker sustaining a broken leg. The inmate, Brandon J. Quick of 1830 Knights Church Road, in Deckard was incarcerated in the Franklin County Jail under charges of theft of property. He now faces additional charges. There is an ongoing investigation into the matter and charges were presented to the Franklin County Grand Jury. Six members of the Motlow State Community College faculty recently received recognition at the college's fall convocation for being granted tenure by the Tennessee Board of Regents. In higher education, tenure is a faculty member's permanent job contract. The award of tenure is recognition of the merit of a faculty member and of the assumption that he or she would meet the long-term staffing needs of the department or academic program unit and the college. Pictured here are from left, Dan McShay, assistant professor, Larry Flatt, executive director of advanced robotics, Dr. Michael Torrance, Montlow president, Dr. David Bethay, assistant professor, Pamela Harris, assistant professor, and Dr. Khaled Tantawa, assistant professor. Mia spoke last week with the executive director of Shepherd's House. Tonight we bring you part two of that interview. There is a passion, there is a need for the homeless here in the community and you would not believe um, how many people are coming through the house and how many beds. Yes. We have a July, we have a monthly newsletter that's stating all the uh, statistically of everything that's you know coming through the Shepherd's House mm -hmm. and just the needs and the wants. Also in addition to that we have the wonderful treasure here, Miss Melinda, yes. who's also a resident. And, and uh, can you explain some of your experience and what it's been like for your transition, your transformation? Well, a year ago, a little over a year ago, we were living on the Texas Gulf Coast and our life was good. We were had all our bills paid, had a good car, good life, going little weekend vacations. And then the then the news said there's a storm out in the Gulf. We didn't think anything of it because we're used to riding out storms. But the sheriff's department was at the door saying we were going to get a direct hit with a Category 5. It we got to go. Wasn't it? This was Harvey. We were going to get a direct hit with the Category 5. It hit as a strong 4, just barely off of being a 5. And so and all of that kind of brought you to, to Lynchburg, didn't it, to stay with your cousin? And 
Right. And then he recommended uh, Shepherd's House in Tullahoma. Yes. And how do you like uh, being there? It is a lot more comfortable than it would be staying at his house, you know, where we have a little freedom to be us. And also through Shepherd's House, my husband has a job yes. now. And we're insurance again, getting our lives back together. We found a wonderful church that we're going to. And won't be too long before we'll, we will be out on our own again and getting our life back together like it was just a different location. <laughs> it's beautiful. You can see a sense of transformation and enlightenment going through your process. You loved and financially stable. You know, just when the community, they know exactly where it's going to and that's the passion, that's the drive, and that's mostly the vision and the mission that we have, the Shepherd's House. It's, it's a powerful movement and there should be awareness to, to what's going on. I mean, it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful transformation. We just want the community yeah. to know that. And I'm so glad and grateful that you're here today to yeah. share that with you and to, and to be a wonderful asset to the community. You know, the new executive director, that's just, that's... that's well, I love being there. I was there in 2011, 2012. Mm -hmm. And so this is just where, the, this is this is a ministry for me. It's it's a heart. This is all I talk about. You know, I'll, I'll text the board members at night time, you know, or I'll talk to my husband about Shepherd's House and that's that's... That's what all I have to I talk about. So um, it is it is in my heart, and you know we've we've our average is receiving about 200 um, homeless there at Shepherd's House a year, and um, you wouldn't even think that there was homeless in Tullahoma, but there there is, and um, we just try and help out the best that we can. Well, that's amazing. Yes. Well, we want to thank you so much for coming to Channel 6 today. We are so, you know, grateful that you're in the community and just helping others, you know, where it's needed. So, again, thank you, Miss Tina, and thank you, Melinda, yes. for, thank for you. being here today. Stay with us. More News Leader on 6 is coming up in a moment. Have you ever been involved in one of these? And you need one of these? Then look no further than the Russell Barnett Certified Collision Center with a state-of-the-art facility, aluminum capabilities, lifetime paint guarantee, Russell Barnett Auto Rental, claims assistance from start to finish. We are here to serve you. So stop by and let us show you why we are number one, the Russell Barnett Certified Collision Center. My wife Jackie has always been the life of the party. But things changed when she couldn't be as active anymore. They told me I needed a double knee replacement. It's not as big a deal as it used to be, but she still needed to go to rehab. I was amazed at how good the therapists were at Life Care. They took really good care of me. They took excellent care of her. And now she's back doing the things she loves. And that makes everyone happy. Life Care Center of Tullahoma wants you to get active and live well. So you've been meaning to do something healthy, commune with nature, get outdoors and meet new people. We have the perfect solution. Come hike with us. You can find a Tennessee Trails Association chapter near you, including Clarksville, Columbia Franklin, Highland Rim, Jackson, Knoxville, Oak Ridge, Memphis, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Plateau at Crossville, and Upper Cumberland. We're on the web at tennesseetrails.org. It's fun, it's stress-free, and it's good for you. See you on the trails. Welcome back. Tullahoma's new director of city schools, Dr. John Carver, spoke recently about his vision for the Tullahoma school system. I came to the realization that education needed to evolve into something else. And that our 20th century industrial factory model, the one that we all went through, doesn't necessarily serve our 21st century kids. In the second district, I was superintendent of the Howard Winnison Community School District. Um, we provided every student preschool through seniors in high school a digital device. Uh, kind of like Tullahoma, we went to online sources. We didn't do away completely with textbooks. We had kind of a blend, but we were moving towards online free uh, curriculum. Uh, 3D printers, uh, maker spaces on all the campuses. Um, as a result of our work, uh, when I went in, we were on the No Child Left Behind list for academic achievement. Uh, when I left, our high school was designated as, as part of the top 13% uh, high school, high performing high schools in the state of Iowa. And again, because of that work, we were recognized by the Obama administration as being one of the first 100 future ready school districts in the country. And as a result of that, I got to make a couple trips into the White House and 
was a part of the National Technology Education Plan and had that experience. So I've seen what education looks like at the local level. I've seen what education looks like policy-wise at the state level. And I've been in the room and seen what it looks like at, at the national level. And I would tell you the stars have lined up that we're, it's going to happen. We're going to evolve into something else. And I am truly convinced that, that the first ones to go through the looking glass, the first ones to figure it out, the first ones to provide the class of 2031. 2031 is the kindergartners. They will graduate from high school in 2031. But I truly believe Tullahoma, with the infrastructure we have in place, with the instructors that we have, with the leadership that we have, we're going to transform teaching and learning. And I truly believe that what happens here in Tullahoma will become the blueprint for an educational transformation that will happen globally. And it will start here with us. Now, how do I know that to be true? How do I, you know, we've got great kids, you've got a, a strong school district in place. You know, not many high schools can, can boast they had two of their graduates recently uh, be appointed to military academies. Nor could they, there's not a lot of districts that could boast that one of their alumni has just been named to the Grand Ole Opry. <laughs> so that, that, that's, that's quite a, quite, a, quite a spectrum there. 11 years ago, this did not exist. Smartphones were not in existence 11 years ago. 11 years ago, we were using these things, right? Still <laughs> Nice guy, right? <laughs> And so, the class of 2031, in 13 years, if this happened in 11 years, can you imagine what those, those kindergartners are going to expect, see, and do in 13 years? And I, and I shared with the, uh, with the high school staff, I said, you know, I go, if we're still doing business the same way 13 years from now, when the class of 2031 graduates, and we're still doing business the way we've always done, other children will have a competitive edge of the So, Dr. Lawson and the team that's been here, they have, they have achieved great things. They have positioned the district with a solid foundation. And we can go to the next level. And we can create something new to the community members and business and industry folks, there isn't anywhere out there that you can point to and say, this is it. Uh, in all my travels and all the districts I've worked with across the United States, there are some that are close, there are some that have glimpses of it, but nobody has, com has a complete package. We'll be right back with more Newsletter on 6. It's not Invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. Get to Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. I spoke with Sidney Hale from the Tullahoma Lions Club and Eddie Smith from the Downtown Lions Club about an upcoming fundraiser to help fight childhood diabetes. Diabetes is the leading cause of blindness in adults in the United States today. No kidding. Because it's uncontrolled blood sugar affects the eyes, mm -hmm. which leads to blindness. Okay. And you guys, are, I think, are doing a project uh, jointly between the nighttime. The, right. You got, they're the Tullahoma Lions Club, Correct. right? And this is the downtown Lions Club. And, uh, and that is for sight That's conservation. It is, because we are trying to rate, we're doing a 5K to raise funds for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation 
The reason why we chose the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation is we actually had locally in Manchester there was a little girl who was diagnosed as a type 1 diabetic, which is used to be known as juvenile diabetes, mm -hmm. when she was, what, 18 months old? Yeah, very young. Yeah. She was like 18 months to two years old. So imagine a oh, good. little bitty one who, Spotty doesn't manufacture any insulin at all, suddenly needing insulin multiple times a day to be able to live. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. And along those lines, the, the little girl she's speaking of, Jim, she has a dog, mm -hmm. which through our efforts, it fun, this dog can let, her, let them know she's having a diabetic attack before it happens. Yeah. Unbelievable. Which is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you guys are quite active in the leader dog program yes, right. as well. And this it, is similar to that, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unreal, unreal. Okay. And... Uh, so you're raising money for juvenile diabetes or to help the research for the research that is, is juvenile diabetes quite common or? um type 1 diabetes is not as common as type 2 um type 2 is where the body is resistant to the using the insulin that your body produces mm -hmm. type 1 it can be seen as a more severe type simply because your body doesn't produce any insulin whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And so they literally on a, are on a true regimen every day to make eating, medication, everything to keep them on a level keel. Mm -hmm. you, got, you guys have always impressed me with how knowledgeable you and, and your members are about the projects that you guys take on, you know, whether it be, as I said, hearing or, or sight conservation or whatever it is. You guys are so knowledgeable about that. We kind enjoy of it. It's, uh, I equate it to just an extended family, Jim, mm -hmm. because it takes a special kind of person to you know, make sometimes sacrifices to volunteer for particular things. Uh, you know, and you've had us on before. You know, we do everything from sight thing. We go into schools and read to the little kids, uh, mm -hmm. do whatever volunteer work and contribute to. Uh, as John mentioned in your earlier sequence, as far as helping uh, uh, those in need mm -hmm. in, in and around Tullahoma. A little bit more about the 5K, if you want to be involved in that. It's coming up when? It's going to be September 15th. Mm -hmm. We are starting over here at the high school at Wilkins Stadium, and our path actually is going to come down the Greenway over to D.W. Wilson, head over to Bel Air, and back over to the high school. Mm -hmm. And what it's called the Superhero Strides 5K because we're asking people to come as the superhero they are oh. or as their favorite superhero. Uh -huh. So they can come in costume or they can come just as they are because for doing this, you are a superhero. Uh -huh. um, and we registration that day is starting at seven o'clock, but we are also doing an online registration, mm -hmm. which is found through www.racesonline.com. Mm -hmm. They just need to search for the Superhero Strides 5K. Mm -hmm. you, is this a competition where you have to run it, oh, or, or can you actually it's walk a it? Fun, it's a okay. fun one. It's a walk. You can run it if you want, but we've got plenty of time for people to be able to walk it and come back, and we're planning on having refreshments and everything else. Okay, so that's, uh, that's uh, uh, you said it all there when you said it's going to be a fun thing, because, uh, and, and it's still good for you, whether you're walking it or running it, mm -hmm. it's, it you know, something good for you, because you're going to get out and move it. Okay, and uh, I, I know folks from past experience that you can trust either one of these Lions Clubs to do the proper thing with the money. They'll, they're they're going to help a lot of that's people right. with, the, with the donations that you make through your participation in this 5K. Folks, thank you so much for coming by today. Always so nice to see you. To you guys are always doing good stuff. And, you know, we're pleased that you're a part of our community. Absolutely. Thank you for... Thank you. I'm I'm always here. glad to help a, a good cause like this, really. We'll be right back in a moment. Not on my shift quickly. Brush. Roller. 
What a transformation. It's going to be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor stat. Here at Manchester Funeral Home, we know the importance of living and working in our local community because it's those families who we serve during their time of need honorably. We believe in supporting local business and offer only 100% Batesville caskets, the best in the industry and a driver of our local economy. If you want straightforward and fair pricing while working with the people you know, choose Manchester Funeral Home, serving your community since 1932. And pre-planning and pre-funding can be the best gift you ever leave your loved ones. Call us to pre-arrange. Manchester Funeral Home. Our family, caring for your family since 1932. Welcome back. Lyle Russell from the Tullahoma Recreation Department stopped by our studios this week to talk about some exciting events coming up this month. Well, we've got a, a bunch of really cool things coming up this month. Walk the Appalachian Trail is going on right now. Um, we've also got um, coming up on September 19th. Now, this is somebody that you know, uh, Mr. Lee Gibson. No, Lee. Yeah. Yes, he's going to come to uh, D.W. Wilson and do a Lunch and Learn program for us about songwriting. Oh. Uh, he's even threatened to bring his guitar and maybe play a couple really? of songs. Yeah, and teach us how to turn a story into a song. So we're looking That's forward really cool. to that. That's really cool. I like Lee. And uh, Lee, something else Lee can teach about is sound. He's a really good sound That's man. What I hear. Yeah. And it's not no pun yeah. intended. Well, I mean, but. that's what I hear. <laughs> you know, he's done a, he's done a lot of the stuff like the country show at South right. Jackson right. and some of the bigger shows where you need 15, 20 microphones. And, yeah, yeah. You know, he's he's uh, he's good at it. So. Yeah, I, uh, I'm, the I'm, folks I'm, at, I'm excited to hear that. Well, yeah, the folks at South Jackson are the ones that told me about yeah. it. And so I went online and checked him out and sent him a message and We've sent a few back and forth, and I'm looking forward to it. He's a really interesting guy, and he's yeah, got he some is. good music out there. Yeah, so. he is. Yeah, he is. And he's, he's been on this show numerous times. Okay. He's quite talented. Yeah. yeah. Um, but and also uh, in the music realm, Friday, September 21st, uh, you've probably seen the commercials rolling on here right. about the um, Journey Tribute Band. Journey Resurrection is coming. Uh, show starts at 7 p.m. It's free. It's outdoors. It's in the park. It's going to be a really good show. Um, these guys have played here before a few different times. Wait, what night is that? It's a Friday night. Friday night. September 21st. So evidently football is either not happening or it's out of town. It's, I believe it's an away game. An away night. game, yeah. okay. Oh yeah, that would be a, that'd be <coughs> that wouldn't, tough. That wouldn't work at all, would it? <laughs> no, we have to watch the football schedule for our programs down there. But, um, you know, we're looking forward to having them back again too. They always put on a good show and uh, from what I understand uh, from other uh, people who are in that business that these guys are yeah, the gold good. standard of, of, yeah, of right. that. Lincoln County. We're away at Lincoln County that yeah. night. Okay. <laughs> you had the football schedule. Oh, with yeah. You. Oh, yeah. Um, so speaking of football, flag football is coming up. We're going to have a flag football league this year for adults. So if you want really? to relive those old gridiron days, uh, Come on out and uh, no tackle. So, no you know, tackle. Yeah, so we'll try to keep uh, There's the a lot of us that can't even walk <laughs> the old gridiron days, much less run. So you walk in the Appalachian Trail. We are. You got a journey band. Yes. You got flag football. Yes. You got Mr. Lee Gibson teaching you how to song write. Yep. Certainly there's one more thing. Believe it or not, there is one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one of the things that we've been talking about getting into is eSports. It's become a really big thing among e eSports, e -sports, so okay. electronic sports. Um, so basically video games. And so we have... So that's to uh, give you strong hands? It is, to make your thumbs the strongest thumbs in the world. <laughs> but uh, so there's a game that's popular amongst, uh, well, just really popular right now called Fortnite. And so uh -huh. we have figured out a way, and we've partnered up with Game Exchange here in Tullahoma, and they are going to help us put on a Fortnite tournament where we're going to have mm. teams of two come in and play against each other in brackets. It's going to take the whole day, but it's going to be a lot of fun. This is a first, first try for us, and if it goes well, we'll probably do it again with some of the sports games, you know, like the Madden football. And Well, you know, and I that. noticed a commercial on television that where some guy's sitting there, and he's sitting in the morning, and he's instead of doing sit-ups and push-ups, he's he's <laughs> exercising his hands and his yeah. fingers, and you're going, what is, what is he doing? Well, just about and then, he, then it shows him doing this oh, exact yeah. thing oh, yeah. that you're talking about. Which is which is really pretty cool. You see it on national TV, mm -hmm. and you get to do it in Tullahoma. Yeah, we're gonna try. That's it. cool. First man. 64 to sign up, so we're gonna we're gonna try it with that. Um, you know, and 
in tapping into that a little bit too, I mean, there's people who are professional video gamers. And, you know, I know for somebody, even my generation, I grew up in the 80s, you know, when that was first coming out. But for some older generations, they might think that's not a job. But believe it oh, or yeah. not, it, it is. There's yeah. people that have made careers out, yeah. of, out of being um, really good at these games and testing them for companies and so on. Um, so Tullahoma is a little bit smaller market, I guess, than some of those bigger cities that do these big, you know, like almost like bowl game type Oh, sure, sure. But uh, we're going to give it a shot on a smaller scale and see, a, uh, see you know, there's another aspect of that, too, that some people don't think about. If you if you have somebody who may be wheelchair bound or who yeah. has special needs that may never get to experience something in the outside world um, because of physical limitations, right. a virtual reality um, substitute can give them an experience that they may not otherwise yeah. have. So, you know, it's some people will say, oh, it's just games and, and it's not really anything extraordinary. But for some people, it really could be. Wow. Thank you, buddy. Anytime. Appreciate you, Parks and Rec. Thank they you. got it going on right here in Tullahoma. <laughs> you be part of it. All you got to do is go see them and find out what's happening. Stay with us. Your weather forecast is coming up next. It's football time in Tennessee, and nobody tackles the competition like the Russell Barnett Automotive family. With six different locations, eight new car franchises, over 1,000 new and pre-owned vehicles to choose from, a certified collision center with lifetime paint guarantee, Russell Barnett Hometown Auto Rental, let our family exceed your expectations at the Russell Barnett Automotive family. And remember, why buy anywhere else? Ah, the glory days. Running to daylight on the gridiron and chasing a ball with a mind of its own. Cheering the team to victory and marching to the beat of your own drum. Memories that last a lifetime. But sometimes we're reminded of our glory days in ways we'd rather forget. Get back in the game. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live and play well. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1954 at 101 degrees. The record low was in 1950 at 49 degrees. The average high on this day is 84, and the average low is 62. Mostly cloudy weather expected tonight with a low of around 70. Partly cloudy weather in the forecast for Friday with a high of 90 and a low of 71. Partly cloudy in the forecast again for Saturday with a high of 91 and a low of 72. And that's our newsletter report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for Newsletter on 6. You have a good evening.